Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be trying the holographic bubble nails using dish soap that I saw Julie do on Cute Polish. To start off I'm going to apply a base coat and two coats of a black gel polish making sure to cure it in my LED lamp after each coat. If you don't have a black gel polish you could also use a regular black polish and top it off with a gel top coat. To get everything started, I'm going to use a small container that has a lid. I'm going to fill it up with a little bit of water and one drop of dish soap. And then I'm going to shake it up to create some bubbles. You don't want your bubbles to be too small, so try not to overshake it. Once that's ready to go, I'll set that to the side. And then I'm going to apply some holographic powder over the black gel polish using an eyeshadow applicator. I'm assuming you can also do this with a regular holographic nail polish, but you will need a gel top coat for the next step. Next, I'm going to apply a very, very thin layer of a gel top coat, but I'm not going to cure it just yet. Before I cure the gel top coat, I'm going to dip my finger into the container and scoop up a bunch of bubbles onto the nail. And now I'm going to cure that layer of gel top coat with the bubbles still on my nail. My Lemony Macaron LED lamp came in super handy for this because I was able to detach the top from the bottom because I was afraid that if I stuck my entire nail in that the bubbles would actually touch the top and it would ruin the effect. And finally, once that's cured, I'm going to wipe off the bubbles from my nail using my finger. The bubbles leave a really cool texture in the gel top coat, so I'm not going to apply a top coat on top of that. And to fully appreciate the hollow, I'm going to use the flashlight on my phone to show you how it looks. Before filming this, I did a tester and I made a few mistakes and learned a few tips that I want to share with you. My first tip is try not to make the bubbles too small because it will mask the holographic effect. You can think of the bubbles as a window to the holographic powder that's underneath. So the smaller your bubbles are, the smaller the window is. My second tip is to use a very thin layer of gel top coat before the bubbles. The very first time I did this, I used a pretty thick layer of top coat and small bubbles. And the best way to describe how it turned out was that it looked like a nose strip and that's not the look I was going for. And my final tip is to use your finger to wipe off the bubbles after it's cured. I first tried removing the bubbles with a cotton ball, but because it's a textured finish, the cotton just clung to my nail and it was really hard to take off. So here's the finished design and I want to know what you think of it. I never would have thought to use bubbles to create nail art, but I think this technique and the texture are so cool and different and it also matches my holographic stamping plate case. So that's all for today's video. I hope it was helpful and I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And check out Julie's original tutorial that I followed. I'll leave a link to her video as well as all the products that I used in the description box below. Anyways, that's all for today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!